The opinions and interpretations expressed in this and other videos are that of Marty Huey and may not be representative of his colleagues and employer. The videos cover overlapping requirements of codes, standards, and regulations. Your situation will require full analysis beyond the concepts presented here. Door encroachment. This is the amount of space a door is allowed to encroach into a hall, corridor, or exit passageway, or any where a area is calculated as movement. It is all based on required width in a hall, corridor, or exit way. This will help represent a corridor, hallway, or exit way. Your typical required width is 44 inches at most building types. Healthcare is different for one there are a couple of others that are different as well. This required width should be calculated and understood. There's other videos that do address it directly. But for this video, we are going to assume 44 inches is the required width. So let's assume 44 inches is our required width. A door, including all its handles from edge of wood to door cannot be greater than seven inches when the door is fully open in its open position and this is a 180 degree swing door. The swing at its narrowest point adjusting the corridor, hallway, or exit passageway cannot be less than one half the required width. So assuming 44 inches is our required width, one half of that is 22 inches. So therefore, at the closest point the door is closing off the corridor cannot be less than 22 inches if the door is at its 90 degree angle or such. Another scenario is a door that is pocketed still swinging into the corridor, hallway, or exit passageway. Assuming our width is 44 inches, our door swinging out of the space, the door may protrude into the required width by nothing greater than seven inches. So therefore, looking at this in a different way, our required width is 44 inches. Our door is allowed to protrude seven inches into that width. Therefore, our clear opening across the corridor when the door is fully open cannot be less than 37 inches. So yet another scenario is where we have a widened corridor, hallway slash exit passageway. Our required width being 44 inches, and we want to have a door opening onto it, but we don't want to pocket the door. The corridor slash hallway needs to be wider, but the door also is allowed to protrude into that required width by seven inches. So taking our required width minus seven inches again that leaves us with 37 inches clear opening so the quick takeaways here is if the door swings 180 degrees into the corridor it can swing into the corridor as long as when it's in its fully open position it is not greater than seven inches when it's parked also it cannot narrow in its swing the required width by less than one half and at any time the door only swings 90 degrees the door cannot protrude out into the required width of the required corridor by more than seven inches please post or email comments on what you've seen suggestions for future topics are also welcome marty enjoys learning from the experience of others more videos will be added which can be found at martyhuey.com.